Welcome to Brian Beeler's Round em Up. It's going to be April 4th. 50 plus classic cars for sale. Under 5,500 bucks just posted in the last 24 hours. You can't click this fast enough. It's going to be a mystery search. And welcome. And if you are new to the channel and you're not sure what a mystery search means, it means every next car we're not sure what make and model we're going to look at. But we're going to look at a lot of cars over 50 that have just been posted for sale within the last 24 hours for 5,500 and under. If you're familiar with the channel, you know I don't own any of these cars. I just simply put them in price order from lowest to highest. If you're new to the channel, that's basically what we do. Start off with the cheapest car. We'll go all the way up to 5500 bucks. We're going to be on Craigslist only. So if you're looking to find any of these cars that just got posted or trucks, you have to get on Craigslist. Go to the area that we're going to be in. Punch in to make a model in that area. We're going to leave it to where I scroll out the area. That way I don't forget to show the area every time. It's going to be Colorado. It's 500 bucks. That's how we're kicking the episode off. You punch in as a 1973 Chevrolet 16 foot box truck. Posted 18 hours ago. 73 Chevrolet box truck doesn't run. That I know of maybe. That's all it says for a description. It does say a clean title status. It's a big box truck. Damn, too bad that's not in Ohio. I surely hell ain't going to Colorado to get it. That's a great deal. Can't get there fast enough. That's exactly how we kick it off on a lot of these episodes. Next one's going to be in 63 Ford truck with hoist. That's how he's got it punched in. Went on about an hour ago. It's going to be Washington State. That's where it's at. That's how you find it. Craigslist. 750 bucks. Old farm truck with a dump hoist, runs and drives, hoist works, needs brake work, and a battery, 700 best offer. With this phone number in the ad. Damn, there's two trucks we just kicked this episode off with. With You can't get there fast enough to buy that stuff. Looking to make money and flip a vehicle? There's a nice two flips right there. On to another 1974 Dodge Motorhome, 1200 bucks posted a day ago. I'm going to scroll out, see where we're at. It's going to be California, Los Angeles area. You heard it right. It's a Dodge pickup with a camper on it. I'm digging this one. Damn, why can't that be close to me? First three have been awesome. Awesome finds. They're your area. Check them out. That's an awesome one right there. Four-speed manual. Yeah, you can't get there fast enough to buy that old Dodge motorhome. 1200 bucks. It's going to be a 78 AMC Pacer. We don't give enough AMC love on this channel. We got some requests pending. And if you are new to the channel, it's what we usually do. What we used to do a lot is look up certain individual searches that people drop in their comments below. And you can feel free to do that. I'm just not sure when I'm going to get back to doing individual requests, especially since I had a lot of people tell me how to do my channel after a lot of people are popping up all over doing channels just like mine stealing the idea and the whole thing so it's been pretty ugly i haven't even been happy with youtube really i don't think my videos get enough recognition but it's probably because i don't pay for youtube subscription i don't pay to have my videos promoted 78 amc pacer all original six cylinder was running parked clean title 1475 it's only got one photo i usually don't trust these ads it's 1475 bucks looking for a pacer well, there you go. And you might be like, man, why are you even bringing up about other channels? It's because, it, not that it just pisses me off that they're stealing my ideas. I don't care. There's enough cars out there for sale for everybody. But it's just when you're, people are tuning in and subscribing to the channels. And they got way more than me. I've been doing this like four years. Look up the past videos. We got plenty of play stuff between my storage units, my cars, and our requests. There's a lot to watch on my channel got almost like four or five hundred videos maybe i take that back i deleted off some of the rounding them ups that were for after they get two years old i started deleting off a lot of them i did keep the originals just to remind everybody and myself how much i really sucked at doing this when i first started doing it mm, i get off the topic and i forget what i started bitching about the whole point of it is that, that those channels that are so much bigger than mine you're watching them guys, and some of y'all might be subscribed to them. And I get it, they're showing you where deals are here in the U.S., but the fact is, there's a lot of those channels are people showing you cars for sale that have never even owned an American car. Like, they have never owned an American, they've never stepped on U.S. soil even. 
But, like, they've never even, like, Australia. I get it. We have viewers all over the world, and that's cool. But, like, when you start sh showing cars that are for sale in 48 states, and you've never owned one, it's just, man, I tell you what. I've been a tow truck driver for, like, 25 years of my life. Been into cars all my life. And here I'm rambling a bunch about me. It's not about me. It's about people wanting to find cars. I started this whole channel trying to find good deals on cars for people where it's not costing you nothing. You don't have to pay me nothing. You subscribe. You watch. The videos come out. You see something you like. You contact the people and buy it. I'm looking for great deals for all of you. That's what I'm doing. What are the other channels doing? They're trying to get paid off of revenue from YouTube. And it's not working out that great for him. Because trust me, you don't make a whole lot of money at this. At least I don't. But I haven't put any money into it again. This has all just been me showing y'all what I do. I look up cars for sale. And I can find all kinds of them for great deals. You don't have to spend $30,000 on a basket case. Even for a Camaro. This thing here, it shows a good example. As we get onto the car, it's a 66 Olds Cutlass, $1,500. It's in New Jersey. Check out this coat of clear right here. Garden hose clear. You can't beat it. Look at that shine. Yep. You want the satin look? You want the shiny look? Go out when it's raining. It's a nice looking hose. Will be a last time it ran, it needed a fuel pump. That's all it says for description with two photos four hours ago. For an Oldsmobile cool one, we found one. 66 Cutlass right there. 79 Chevrolet C20, 1500. Phoenix, Arizona. Listed an hour ago. For a Chevy, I like the blue and the white. This is a great deal. For $1,500, bucks, you will get that running cheap. If you're in the area looking for a truck, go buy that. You're not going to get hurt at all. And I like a long bed truck. If you're going to use it for a truck, you're going to want the long bed. 1947, Crosley car. $1,800 bucks an hour ago. Cool little drag car project right there. That's a cool little cruiser. Still had the engine in it. I didn't expect that. It does say title status is missing. Four cylinder, three speed. Runs good. New battery. It was an hour ago. Wisconsin. 1958 Volvo. Two grand on this one. Posted 18 hours ago. And it's going to be in California. It's a nice looking Volvo. Honestly, no rust in those two photos. Some surface rust on a bumper. Looks like you could take an SOS pad to it and make it shine. Body's all complete. In good shape. No motor. No transmission. So there's your catch. You're not driving it. Showed you where it was. 1973 VW Beetle. Two grand. 14 hours ago. This one went online. It's Colorado. Black and yellow. Wheels pulled off the back on the one side. Doesn't look that bad. Looks somewhat all together. Had the engine somewhat tore apart. Looks complete. Clean title. 14 hours ago. Take the trailer. This was posted two hours ago. 1937 Chevy 5 window coupe. 2100 bucks For a 5 window Chevy coupe. Going to be Portland, Oregon. 37 Chevy 5 window coupe. Great project. What you see is what you get. No title. Roller 20. Ask him 2100 Two hours ago in that car. This one just went on two hours ago. Is that correct? Both these just went on two hours ago. 1978 AMC Wagon. 2200 bucks on this one. Four wheel drive, right? Six cylinder automatic power steering runs, drives, power disc brakes, clean title in hand, asking 2200 bucks. Wow, that thing's pretty nice. I gotta tell you, for the price, twenty-two hundred bucks two hours ago. That's gonna be in Portland, Oregon, as again as well. Nineteen fifty-three Studebaker Champion two DR for two door twenty-two hundred bucks. I like the black, I like the white walls. Complete motor not frozen, no dents, interior's good shape, some rust. Two days ago on this one. I'm sorry, it does say two days ago. Should have been just a day ago. It's Texas. If you're looking for the Studebaker, it must have just rolled over to two days. This was posted two hours ago. 1966 AMC Classic 550 Wagon. 2200 bucks. You heard it right. It's a wagon. That's a cool one. There's your pick of the day. Can't get there fast enough. It's 2200 bucks. 
Oh, and AMC sell really cheap too. We've been meaning to get onto that request that we got pending. We got some Ramblers pending. 1953 Ford F100, 2500 bucks. Three hours ago, this was posted in Tennessee. Looking for a 53 Ford, 2500 bucks. It does say claim title. Purchase 1994 frame and body. Clean title, Florida cab, good shape. I don't think get there fast enough to buy that truck. Twenty five hundred bucks three hours ago, Tennessee with the title. Got an MG Roadster convertible for twenty five hundred bucks two hours ago. I think we had some MG and Triumph requests pending too. So here's one to all you guys that have been waiting to see some of these on our channel. It's got a nice four speed four cylinder sports car. It says top is like new. A little work, you have yourself a $10,000 sports car. It says, claim title 22 hours ago. Didn't show you no pictures underneath it, even though they had it up on a lift. 1975 Chevy Short Bed 4x4. 2500 bucks. This is going to be Montana. Did I show the area of this one? I did not. It's a good thing I went back to check. That's why I kept it on scrolling them out. Sometimes I forget to mention. So you always want to look over here in this map area to see what area you want to look at. It does have these numbers here, too. It's Craigslist, Idaho. That's where that was at. Your next Chevy, Chevy truck was in Montana. This looks like a short bed sitting in the weeds. 4x4, four four, $2,500. Can't get there fast enough to buy that. 75 Chevy half-ton short bed, 4x4. Four four. Some rust runs and drives. Not a daily driver. Needs... TLC 2500 best offer call. Can't get over there fast enough. Does say title missing. And Montana. Give me 1970 Project Mustangs. 2500 bucks. 19 hours ago on this one. Again, Montana. 270 Mustang Project cars. 2500 bucks. One car has a 302. Extra parts cars included. U Haul. That's all it says with only two photos. Some Mustang parts can't get over there quick enough to buy all those parts. Twenty five hundred bucks. Nineteen sixty six Chevy C twenty custom camper. I'll tell you, punch it in twenty six hundred dollars. Sixteen hours ago, it's gonna be Denver, Colorado. Man, I like the looks of this one. Got the chrome bumper grill, back bumper, chrome wheels. This is a nice truck with the stick. Can't get there fast enough does have a broken windshield but i'm loving this one man so a nice looking truck for 2600 bucks looking for your first hot rod that wouldn't be a, a bad deal at all right there loving it 16 hours ago it's colorado denver it's my pick of the day so far followed up by another chevy truck 1963 chevy c60 2750 two hours ago probably also colorado nope it's in california this time it's a big truck. Look for a big steak bed truck. It's pretty awesome. For $27.50. No, don't know much about it. You need a tow truck to move it. That's kind of high priced, I think. That's me. 78 El Camino with a 350 mile cam. Sell as is. Three grand a day ago. You see that as is in there and you just instantly think something wrong with it. This could be a scam. It's only one picture. I'm real leery when it's somebody with only one photo of their car. But with that said, I always take caution to any time you reach out to contact somebody. Facebook Marketplace, it is nice. You can look up a profile. Obviously, if you see if it's a burner profile, there's a chance you can get burned. Unlike this. So it's got to reply for a phone number or email. I always call people. If I can't call somebody directly, I usually don't deal with them at all off Craigslist. 1966 Chrysler 300. I like these ones a lot. Posted a day ago. It's going to be in Florida. There's one for you, Mike. It's a four-door with the skirts. Man, it's a nice one, too. All power. All the interiors in there with the build sheet. Beautiful dash. It's a cool car right here. It's three grand. Mike's one of our uh, subscribers. about the Cougars out of Texas, but he lives in Florida. One for you to go check out anyway, buddy. Three grand is what he's asking for that. That looked like a great deal. I don't know if he said what the engine was. Uh, 
I don't think so. This talks about when he bought it. It's got a clean title on it. Look pretty nice inside too. 1948 Plymouth two door, three grand, 23 hours ago in this car. It's gonna be in St. Louis, Missouri. Yep, it's a pretty cool looking hot rod. Got some aluminum slots on it. Got some nice Chevy truck rallies on his trailer. Maybe you can get it with the trailer. It's a nice trailer. It's a nice car. 23 hours ago on this one. 48 Plymouth, two door, three grand, not running. He updated the ad just three hours ago. On to another. 1940 Chevy Master Deluxe, two door sedan, 3450. That's how you punch it in. It's been on here for one day. It's going to be Missouri. Looks like you pulled it out of the barn. Got a big dent in the fender. But it looks all together. And all original. I dig it with the title. Yes, it is. It says clean title. There's a cool hot rod build right there. Something cool in Missouri for under 3500 bucks. We're up to 3500 now. 1967 C10 long bed step side with the trailer. So this time you do get the trailer. It's 23 hours ago this one online. Denver, Colorado area again. This is a nice looking 67. Alright. Somebody asked me if my dining room table set's available. It is. I put that for sale on Marketplace. Obviously you're not going to sell that on eBay. But everybody feel free to check me out on eBay. It's just Mopar. Did get just about all my stuff listed up off those new storage units and the death pile I've been sitting on all winter. So I'm ready to start doing some more rounding them up and work on my car maybe. This is a nice truck. Uh, 3500 bucks. Trailer's got to be worth at least 1000 right? 1200 for the trailer? No title on the truck, so there's your catch. Colorado. Man, that was a nice looking truck. 1953 English Ford Ute. UTE. 3500 bucks. 23 hours ago. Man, this thing be a badass hot rod. I'm gonna build a cool gasser. There's one. Can't get over there fast enough to give him 3500 for that. No title, though. Sound like the sounds of the no title. 1963 Pontiac Le Mans convertible hot rod. 3500 bucks a day ago. I'd rather have this. Probably the coolest one we've seen. Phoenix, Arizona. Man, this is a cool car. Craigers, buckets, convertible. Now, that's the pick of the day so far. Just went on a day ago. Arizona got the pick for that 63 Pontiac Le Mans. With a clean title. 389 V8. No engine transmission in it. Has a fork link rear end. Set up with disc brakes. Don't like the sounds of any of that. 1964 Ford F100. It wants four grand for this one. Sitting under a carport. I like that, but it's been sitting for a minute. It's a nice looking truck. Like, get me an old Ford truck. Manual transmission. Got the 292 in it. The four speed on the floor. 17 hours ago for that 64. That'd be cool with the comments I got, right? Had me a 64 truck. And where's it at? me washington state on to another 1963 ford galaxy convertible four grand again posted 20 hours ago man this is a badass car It'll be tucson arizona arizona still got the pick of the day with another convertible take a double trailer buy them both what a cool car does say clean title no motor, no trans. Was well, a four-speed car. I love it. 1962 Studebaker Automatic V8, 71,000 original. Runs great. Four grand. 24 hours ago. It's gonna be North South Carolina on this one. This car looks nice. Look for something to go cruise to the car shows right now. Don't work on it at all. Four grand. Be cruising the Studebaker Lark. Located in South Carolina. Got the contact info on there. Just updated to add five hours ago. 1960 Thunderbird 4500. 
man, where's this at? Posted one day ago, California. This could be the new pick of the day. What a beautiful looking Thunderbird, man. Are you kidding me? 4,500 bucks. Interior. This car is freaking awesome. <laughs> uh, you can't get there fast enough? Well, we found one. You can't get there fast enough. Most of their day ago, it's California. Absolutely beautiful inside. What a beautiful car. 1979 Silverado C10, 4,500 bucks. This is a short bed or not? This is a nice looking. Nope, it's a long bed. But man, this is a nice looking truck. 4,500 bucks. Had some seriously dry rotted tires. Or no, I take that back. Those are not cracks. The, I don't know, they wouldn't even be holding air, right? That's from their clear. So it's got, I didn't even notice at first. It's got a garden clo hose coat of clear on it. They probably left the garden hose laying like right here running. Or maybe that was to get rid of the spots of oil it's dripping. It's a beautiful seat. It's 4500 It's best offer. It's a clean title. It's in Nashville, as I said. No, it's in Washington State. 1977 Lincoln Continental Mark V. Carter Edition. Is that what it says? Carter Edition? Man, it's a nice car. It didn't look like it was garden hose clear. It's actually a nice shiny car. Tigger, not so much, but man, forty-five hundred bucks looking for just a cool car to cruise. There's one. Clean title. California. It's a nice California car right there. Nineteen sixty-five Dodge CSS D two hundred forty-five hundred bucks. Gonna be Tucson, Arizona, twenty-one hours ago. This was always the ugly looking Dodge truck, so I liked them. Same type headlights my van, 65 Dodge van had. Got the two seats on the one side, buddy seat in the middle. Cool truck, I like it. I don't know, about 4500 bucks, no engine in it. But that's me, it's got Al's phone number on there, you can give him a buzz, he's in Arizona. 1964 Chevy Corvair convertible, 4500 four hours ago. Really nice looking Corvair convertible. Six cylinder, four speed, 71,000 original miles with the title and his name. What are you going to ask for out of a Corvair? Taking it to car shows, Phoenix, Arizona. We've seen some cool stuff in Arizona in this episode. 1978 Chevy Shorty Van, 4,800 bucks, 23 hours ago on this one. This is going to be also in Arizona. So a lot of stuff getting posted in the last 24 hours in Arizona, apparently. And that's what's popped up for our classic search. It's a nice looking shorty van. If you're in Arizona, it's working out good for you because this was a 5500 and under search. 1974 Chevy pickup. $4,900 on this one two hours ago. I think we've seen some pretty nice Chevy trucks. This one's had cab corners and bedside patches put on already. Replaced the fenders. 4900 Two-wheel drive. I don't know. I think that four-wheel drive. I think we've seen some better Chevys already. But check out the coat of clear on this one. Garden hose clear. Still got the suds in the clear. 62 Corvair. 900 Cub Club. Cub Coupe. I don't know what the hell I was saying, man. 1962 Corvair. Mine's a 900 Cub Coupe. Must sell. $49.99. So we're almost at five grand. Obviously, they were still spraying the clear on it in the photos, so it wasn't being too deceitful. I mean, it actually shows you spraying clear on it right there. Blue interior. Engines pulled. I don't know, about five grand. I like that little red convertible, even though I like the silver actually better. That's me, 1967 Ford Fairlane. Did we say where it was? I'll have to scroll out. I got to remember to say where they are. This one was New York. See, they weren't all in Arizona. On to the next one. It's a 67, 1967 Ford Fairlane Ranchero. That's how you punch it in. We're still at $49.99. Posted one day ago. It's going to be in Los Angeles, California on this one. I like the slots. The fact that I clicked off of it, but now we get supersized photos. Got the Elderbrock car with the Elderbrock intake. Some cheap chrome valve covers. 
Some rattle cam black, automatic. Not a bad looking car. For the price, under five grand. Check it out. There's the description posted one day ago on the Ranchero. Chevy Thriftmaster truck, 1949, five grand a day ago. And this is going to be posted in Colorado. For another Colorado truck, got some Chevy rallies, late 70s rallies on it. Early 70s rallies. It's not a bad looking truck, what you can see from the far distance photos. Posted one day ago, Colorado. I think we've seen some cooler stuff in Colorado. 1958 MGA. Five grand three hours ago this car went on. Looking for a little MG. Real rusty. It's got plenty of rust. Looks like it's all together. Still got the twin carbs on there. Big floor pan section missing. Where are we at? Three hours ago. It's going to be Massachusetts on this one. Looking for the 58 MG. We found one. Got a big phone numbers on it. Looks like it's at some kind of dealership. 1968 Volkswagen VW Fastback Type 3. Five grand. This car would be a cool gasser too. Flip it onto some gasser style chassis. Cool car the way it is too. Especially if it runs. I dig it. Doesn't look like that bad of shape for five grand. Nice print out on it. Not sure how rare they are. Never had one six hours ago. Tell how long it's been on here for six hours. It's going to be in Texas. Barn. Farm find. Not a barn find. Farm find. That's how he punched in. 1948 International Harvester. Five grand. 16 hours ago on this truck. It's one hell of a truck to be up on a trailer. Steak bed. It's two ton runs and drives. That sounds a lot better for five grand. Runs and drives. That's how they got it up on that trailer. 15 hours ago, California on the farm fine. 48 International. 1967 Plymouth Fury, five grand. New Jersey, four hours ago. I tell you, I like this one a lot. Seeing a lot of cleaned up stuff right there. It's a four door, that's why. Looking to build a cool car. Flip that into a police car. Put your Johan model kit sitting up in the back window or get the car show, set it out on your hood. Yeah, that'd be a cool police car. Cologne. Four hours ago, New Jersey. He wants five grand. Want to read it out? There it is. In 1941, Dodge Coupe, five grand, 23 hours ago. Montana. Sitting out in the back 40 with no glass in it and fresh paint. So one of those deals where if you can't afford to paint it, can't paint where you're at, buy something like this and finish putting it together. So your front seat was redone, door skins are redone, and it's got new paint. And it has a title. That's the most important thing. No motor, no transmission for that. Five grand. 1962 Ford Galaxy. Five grand. 23 hours ago. It's going to be posted in California. Man, that's a cool one. I don't like the wheels. I like the paint. Don't really like that black interior either. But it's nice, nice wooden wheel. Dual exhaust. Five grand, 23 hours ago. Clean title. Yeah, that's worth going and checking out. Looking for a cool first hot rod? Well, there you go. You'll be cruising all year with this thing. On to another 1977 Chevy Custom Deluxe, three quarter ton, four wheel drive, five grand. Another four wheel drive Chevy. Square box Chevy. It's a big speaker in the door. This is four wheel drive. It's Fall Guy all day. Looking to buy yourself a Fall Guy truck? Found you one right there two days ago. It went online. So since I got to, to this truck, it did say one day when I found it. South Dakota. A few of that, them have done that. A few of these are just a couple minutes when I found them. This is posted one day ago. 1973 Eldorado Convertible, Texas. You in Texas looking for a big convertible? At least they put a sheet over it, right? 
no top on it sitting outside got the pinto wagon underneath the carport convertible sitting out in the rain it's all still together engine ac all that was still on it big white walls hubcaps apparently don't have a top title in his name I just like to think that it really is a convertible, not something they just hacked the roof off of. To read it out if you're interested. I did say where it was at, right? Texas. It's going to be a Chrysler Newport 5100. That's how he's got this posted up. It also says two days ago now. Houston, Texas. Took me a while to get to record this after finding all the cars, putting them in price order. And making up time to make record the video. It is wet. So even though it's under a roof, you can see the ground's wet. It didn't rain here. They hit it with a hose, so it's got some garden hose clear on it. Made that purple look real shiny, but I don't really like the color. It's a four-door. 3D3 big block in it. And it was Texas. 1969, but you're going to punch it in as a 69 Chevelle Malibu. 5300, six hours ago. Looking for a Chevelle 69 Memphis. Tennessee area, that's where it's at. It's going to be Tennessee, $5,300. Can't get there fast enough. Looking for Chevelle, boom, found you one, 69. It's going to be floor pans and trunk. Hopefully the frame's not rotted out, but it is a full frame car. That's what you're wanting. We found one. Not in the greatest of shape for $5,300. 1977 Cadillac Sedan DeVille, 5500 Posted one day ago, and it's going to be in Cincinnati, Ohio. So we got an Ohio car after all. It's a beautiful looking Cadillac. Can't get there fast enough. You'd be chauffeuring everybody to bingo. This thing is awesome. Beautiful car. You got a ride in style in that one. I love it. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous car. $5,500 day ago. 77 Cadillac. Ohio got to pick the day on the Cadillacs by far. 1947 Dodge Power Wagon, $5,500. I don't even really have a pick of the day. Last car is a cool one. It's a cool Dodge truck right here, too. 47 WDX Power Wagon. Pretty complete, except the bed. Does not run. Very little rust. Clean title, $5,500. One of those old Dodge military trucks. Found one right there. One more before the pick of the day, and it's a 1959 Chevy half-ton short bed. 5500 bucks. Can't get there fast enough. That's what you're wanting to build. Found you a nice one right there. Six hours ago. Yep, New Mexico. Right in the middle of New Mexico, too. And if I didn't say where the Dodge was, it was in Montana. I mean, I forget to say where they were at. On to the last one of the day. It's usually a pick of the day, and this is a nice one. So we're going to leave it as these that. To 5500 bucks 1979 corvette 21 hours ago so where we got to go to get the corvette rhode island so rhode island got the pick with the corvettes can't get there fast enough for this t-top bet did i mention it's a four speed it's a 79 corvette numbers matching car runs and drives it's a 354 speed good condition you can't get there fast enough want to have a fun summer East Coast area. See, I all of them were in Arizona. Got them headlights in there with them popped up and down. No, I don't think they show them down. So probably going to have lots of work. I didn't read it all out. There it is. That was our episode. So hopefully I'll get back on here soon with specific requests from some of our subscribers. Because that's what we usually do is if you're interested in something specifically, subscribe and drop in the comments. We'll round up that specific make and model. But I haven't had the time to get onto those. So our book has piled up. We got a lot of requests, and we will be getting some of them shortly. So be sure to ring that bell. Stay notified. That way you know when either a search comes out for cars that just got posted or a search comes out for a specific make or model you might have requested, you'll be able to catch it when it comes out. Thanks a lot, everybody. Appreciate all of you. Until next time, be good. Stay safe and keep it shiny side, that, that side that's got the garden hose clear. Yeah, keep that side up. Peace out, y'all.